Hey there. So, uh, a really quick video. It's not a uh, rant or a uh, Charlie Chan uh, video. Those, there's more coming up really soon, so if you've been liking those, please sub and subscribe. I noticed that uh, there's been a lot of talk about uh, Manborg recently from uh, Faligar has mentioned it in his videos. He did Manborg, and I think TJ Pierman did, and uh, Blu ray Anonymous did the uh, Father's Day review. And, uh, my Father's Day is right here. I've got the uh, limited edition uh, four disc uh, set, two DVDs, one Blu ray, and one CD. So, you know, bonus soundtrack. And uh, mine is number 3,404 of 5,000. So, uh, glad to have that. Got that from Lloyd himself. Captain. But uh, the one that people don't talk about a lot. And the one that everybody should have, especially if they're fans of Father's Day, or if they're fans of uh, the movie Man Bork, is this one here. This is the first one. Uh, some people call this up. It's under a few different names. What the bleep is Astron 6, or uh, other people, with, because the number one right up there, call this Astron 6 Year 1. And what it is, it's a two-disc set. Astron 6 is a company of uh, people that uh, make these movies, Manborg and uh, Father's Day. And they're kind of short, like kind of indie films. Well, they're, they're full-length films, but like these, they make a lot of short indie type stuff. And this is disc one and disc two. But they got like some short films in here. And what they do is they take the normal conventions and they really play with them a lot. And uh, they're very much, uh, very much fans of the 80s films. So uh, there's stuff on this, like the first one, is cool guys and it starts out like a a beach film then becomes sort of a murder slasher kind of it gets freaky uh, and it's really fun now I haven't seen Manborg yet that's the one I haven't seen uh, not completely anyway I uh, definitely don't own it I gotta pick it up and uh now, if you own this Astron 6 thing, did, then I'm guessing if you've seen this set and you've watched it through, remember Laser Ghost 2, kind of like a cheesy, action-y type thing? Is that kind of in this, what Manborg is the style of? Because it kind of, every time I see uh, previews for Manborg, and uh, I did see a little bit of it, it did give me that kind of Laser Ghost feel. Now, there's some really cool stuff on here. Uh, there's one called Heart of Carl. And... Uh, it is actually kind of creepy in a kind of a weird, unique way. Uh, there's some very real cool stuff here. Uh, okay, what else was there in this one? There's so, so much stuff. Inferno of the Dead is kind of like a, a zombie apocalypse type thing, but it's kind of a laid back apocalypse. They just do a lot of really cool stuff. And uh, to read the. Uh, the back here, which isn't too bad to give you an idea of what this is, is Astron 6 is the brainchild of these five iconoclastic multimedia artists who share fascination with the mechanics of fear and laughter. They subvert the expectations of the seasoned viewer with nightmares, nightmares absurd. Their imagery and recurring themes are often torn from the childhood of the irony craving internet savvy generation X and Y, that is, the often lampoon genre films of the 1980s. And so true. A lot of this stuff here is like uh, short films or uh, trailers. Uh, well, fake trailers of films. Uh, Father's Day started out, by the way, as a uh, fake trailer on this one right here. So uh, if you had this, then you uh, basically got an exclusive preview of Father's Day, which was their first film. And uh, what a film it was. So if you've gotten Manborg, or if you've gone out and gotten uh, Father's Day, or if you got both of them, uh, don't forget their earliest work. Really great stuff. Uh, Troma has this one. I'm pretty sure this thing is still in stock, but Astron 6, you know, they make some great stuff. They're making a name for themselves. You want to pick this baby up. It's a two-disc set where you still can. Great set. Uh... Got some great features on it. Hey, you've got a little uh, inch of word or two with uh, Uwe Boll. Yeah.
because, you know, he makes these type of movies uh, on purpose, sort of. Speaking of which, I brought it up here because it's been a while since I've seen it, so that, uh, so that I can kind of let you know what some of the features were because there's some great stuff. And I mentioned Friend of the Dead, I mentioned uh, Cool Guys. Uh, Goreblade is a uh, sword sorcery type. Uh, you no, know, there's the cheesy names and stuff like that. Uh, Punch Out is a strange one. It's about a guy that uh, gets uh, erotically pleased from getting punched in the face. Uh, hmm. Heart of Carl is a uh, different. It's creepy. They creep me out actually. For some reason, I don't know what it was, but it just creeped me out. Cool Guys actually has a uh, trailer for, uh, as a thing. There's some commentary on some of these here. Of course, they were, it's a trauma production, so it's introduction by Lloyd Kaufman. Uh, they got some a photo gallery here. Uh, they got a Father's Day uh, trailer. A uh, fireman extras are one that, yeah, have a. Some some video called called Fireman Laser Ghost Two Return to Laser Ghost Extras has an auto commentary behind the scenes video on that one. Uh, more commentaries, uh, promo material for Manborg and Father's Day. So I guess even back then they knew it. And they got one Carl. I don't know if I watched it. The title character from Heart of Carl returns in this weird photo animated short. Uh, Carl creeped me out. So that's probably why I didn't I haven't seen this yet. A word from Louis Bull. Word from Guy Madden. Addiction is Murder, a pre astron 6 dark com comic short by Adam Brooks, but a man hooked on killing. Uh, of course, more, again, Easter eggs on this thing here, uh, but you got to find them yourself. And, or, you know, go online and look for them. But Astron 6, a DVD that should be in your collection. If you're a fan of Man Borg, you're a fan of Father's Day, if you're a fan of, uh, like, Troma's good stuff, Really good stuff. This is really cool. You know what? I was planning to go to bed, but I think I'm going to watch one of these babies first. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully I'm going to get back to my normal reviews on that soon. Uh, probably back to Charlie Chan tomorrow. And again, uh, hope you enjoyed the rant before. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, please, and uh, share it on Google Plus or Facebook. And uh, let's get some. Uh, let's get this ball rolling. I'm at 214. I'm trying to get to 250 to see how it goes, and hopefully uh, YouTube will stay uh, good, and we'll be able to do this. So, cheers. I'm going to watch this, and I'm going to have a drink, because uh, my cup is empty, and it is time for tea.